Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre SD V6 HSE, 2016 on a 65 plate. It's done 45,225 miles. Fuel economy, which is pretty tremendous really. Urban, 35.8. Extra urban, 44.1. And combined is 40.4. A 0 to 60 time of 6.8 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 306 brake horsepower, 624 valve engine. Road tax, 6 months is £145.75 and 12 months is only £265. Great value for money, considering the old ones are, are £565, uh, it's uh, kind of, well, around about half price. We've got the Xenon headlamps, the black Range Rover badge, black grille. At the bottom there, we've got front parking sensors, high pressure headlamp wash, front fogs, black wheels fitted with Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, all in good condition. You've got this uh, kind of imitation Range Rover or imitation vent on the top here with Range Rover uh, written on it. Power folding door mirrors, contoured side steps, the lower plastic bit here which protects the bottom of the doors. We've also got keyless entry, uh, also keyless close. Just touch the door handle there and the car locks itself, so long as you've got the key in your pocket. And then when you come back, again, so long as you've got the key in your pocket, it, it'll open again. So that's nice and easy to get into. It's keyless ignition as well, keyless start. It's got the Santorini black roof there, rear privacy glass, the integrated rear spoiler again in black, and the uh, covered wiper, which is handy in winter, stops it kind of freezing to your screen, or should do anyway. Reversing camera there is just next to the number plate. We've got power open, power close tailgate, rear load cover, Make sure it's in the track. Plenty of room in the back. It's actually, it's got a spare wheel. It's not just a, an inflation kit. It's got the reversing sensors in the rear bumper there. The twin chrome exhaust tips. Power closed tailgate. Um, these are quite an improvement on the rear seats on the old Range Rover Sport. As you can see here, my uh, the, the rear headrest isn't right in the middle of my shoulders and you don't have to knock it up. You can just jump in uh, and you're comfortable straight away if you're an adult. You've also got the Isofix uh, child seat um, anchor points, rear armrest, cup holders, uh, magazine nets here it, and this is uh, it's quite a, a modern thing inside uh, not the piano black it's got kind of a well, it's it's looks like aluminium carbon fiber massive speakers great sound system in in, in the Range Rover 2 um, really really lovely don't look like it's been sat in it's got the big deep pile over mats as, as well in the back I'll just take you for a ride in it. Just the uh, just the car you need on a day like this. Range Rover Sport. There we go. We've got two of these keys. It's keyless go. So long as you've got the key in your uh, possession in your pocket or a handbag or whatever you want, um, it will start. Once we've done that, just. Get the hot, old hand sanitizer going. Um, we're, it looks like we're going into lockdown on Thursday. Today is Monday. Um, and if we do go into lockdown, we will still be carrying on with click and collect. Um, all our cars are sanitized, Lance goes right through them with. I think it's hydrogen peroxide spray which costs a fortune is very very thorough we're very careful at the garage we're doing our best not to let 
other people in the cars uh, if you come to pick the vehicle up it will have been sanitized before you pick it up and you're the only one to get in it we've also got a key sanitizer um, we're, we're sanitizing the office out all the time cleaning the desks after anybody's been in so we're gonna we will be doing our best um, so please you know obviously keep buying cars off us we will be hopefully continuing to operate during lockdown and it's the way we've been operating for four or five years now um, hence these videos we uh, we prep them we'll try and agree a deal with you over the telephone even if you've got a part exchange then when you come to pick the car up we'll, we'll take a small deposit usually 250 pounds when you come to pick the car up you can then go for a drive in it it'll have been sanitized if for any reason you don't like the vehicle we'll just give you the deposit back if you do like it and you're happy uh, we'll just continue with the deal you'll drive away in the car and you'll be the only one who's who sat in it after it's been sanitized so far better than having the car delivered to your door by some Herbert that you've never seen before you don't know what uh, how they've got there um, what's happened to the car whether whether it has been sanitized and and where he's been on the way to to drop your car off so come and buy a car off us www.ggcars.co.uk if this car's gone uh, hopefully we'll have another one that will suit you okay the service history as you can see there in the in the big writing 8th of 2nd 2017 11,053 miles at Land Rover Stoke 8th of 5th 2018 18,678 miles Land Rover Stoke 5th of the 2nd 2019 26,650 miles Land Rover Stoke 9th of the 3rd 2020 39,395 miles Land Rover Stafford so a really good service history proper dealer service history low miles great car great color combination great spec lovely to drive okay I'll take you for a ride in it now um, again what when I said before great days to be driving a Range Rover just like this you see the river there I, I live alongside this river and uh, when I was coming home the other night there's a massive queue of traffic and the road on the other side where I come up was flooded and there was a policeman there and there, there was cones and, and so on and he was making people turn around well this is basically without going all the way round back through Preston and coming this way in a massive traffic jam there was no way for me to get home um, so when I got to the front I, I, and I'm, I was in a Range Rover Vogue I said um, what's the problem and obviously the, the police officer thought I was a numbskull because the road's flooded he says uh, the water's a foot deep there I said, no problem, officer. This will go through 21 inches of water. Anyway, he still wouldn't let me through. I, he probably thought, you know, smart ass, <laughs> uh, Range Rover driver. I'm not letting you through anyway. So, but they're, they're absolutely fantastic. I, I, abs I love these cars. They drive so well. I, I don't think you can find a better driving car at all. Uh, just, uh, one, one of my other favourite cars is a, a ben, Bentley Continental GT which uh, I quite like the, the ride of but I prefer being up in the air like you are with this you can see all round and, and plus the, the higher up you are the less likely you are to drown if you do get stuck in flood water they're just just fantastic to drive you just it's you just float along um, using this road every day and in all different cars you, you feel the bumps the roads in Preston are absolutely shocking they spend all the money making stupid cycle lanes that nobody uses and uh, causing traffic jams there massive traffic jam in the morning massive traffic jam at night because they've taken a lane to put the 
uh, to use for for a cycle well for two cycle lanes so that one cycle coming this way and one cycle going the other way can keep six foot apart unfortunately now nobody can if there's three cars waiting to turn right nobody can turn left to go into Preston and uh, it happens every morning and every night chaos this this is the road that's flooded here and as I say it, it, Range Rover is just it's straight through um, you just have to be careful of not causing a, a bow wave really and you know like <laughs> flooding the sides so back to the car beautiful I think it's it used to be called Fuji White whether it still is Fuji White I don't know but Santorini black roof black leather upholstery front and rear seats are heated um, you've got paddle shift here it's automatic you can knock the gear shift across there into sport and uh, change up and down like so shows you big clear display on the dash there what gear you're in when you're in manual but the the actual the automatic gearbox is so good there is absolutely no reason for changing it into manual uh, you'd be a fool to do so because the gear changes are, are imperceptible I'll just man you we're going we're going uphill now but I'll just slow down for this roundabout even though there's nothing coming and everybody will curse me right so we, we set off there you go change gear there change gear again it's just fantastic cars nice and simple got everything you need but simple to use you don't jump in the car look at it and go mm, you know <laughs> how, how do I switch it on it's, it's all laid out really really simple we've got three position memory seats here um, let's see we've got power folding door mirrors there press the two buttons this has got contoured side steps on non-slip ones you've got here your audio controls I shall uh, I've turned it I've turned my iPhone down so I'm gonna have to stop turn it up to demonstrate the audio system uh, normally I would just be able to um, tell it uh, I, I won't say it's its name <laughs> but the Apple operating system to play music and then I could just use the controls on the steering wheel to turn the music up or click over I'll show you the sat nav that's the sat nav there very very easy to program it's got Bluetooth hands-free obviously and uh, Bluetooth audio streaming just get somewhere where we're we can just park for a second there's a car behind me now the good thing with the Range Rover is you can park anywhere all right stop we'll we'll just get further up the road it's uh, climate control the heated seats are there uh, what the one and only thing I think I don't like on the new Range Rovers is this heated seat button you know there's a there's a button there you should be able to just press it click it three times and it's on red hot click it twice medium once but no unfortunately you click the switch to give you the display on the dash and then you have to do like so and, and then you know it, it's that that's I'm surprised at, at Land Rover Range Rover because everything else is so easy to use and, and that's just stupid especially when you get in in the morning and, and you, your car's scrolling through everything and you can't that's when you want your heated uh, seats on and you can't switch it on for, for a few seconds right so let's turn this up um, let's see uh, where's my music music 
Right, so we'll turn it up and then when we get going, why does he stop behind me? Some kind of numpty. Anyway, so I'll just demonstrate the audio system. Hey Siri, play music. And then we'll turn it up here. pause it. The, the sound's absolutely fantastic and uh, as you can see they're, they're so easy to drive. You can see for miles, you can see over everybody in front of you and uh, say it's got a reversing camera too. Just give it some gas going up the road here. When we get the wheels straight, you can see all the spray even on this road. But we're above it. You see over there, um, it's coming above their uh, window line, so no doubt their uh, part of the vision's obscured. But this is this is just, you know, it's it's weather do your worst, and it's just not going to bother you. Heated front screen as well. Another fantastic feature of the, the Range Rover. Jumping in the morning, everybody else is freezing to death outside and scraping the screen and spraying it with the stuff that ruins your wiper blades. You just sit in, press a button, get your heated seats on and just wait for all your windows to clear. Really pleased to see that uh, Jaguar Land Rover are, are in profit this year. I'm not sure what this next lockdown will do for them, but uh, it's a good sign anyway. And it, to be fair, it's where they should be because, in my opinion, far nicer to drive than BMWs and Mercedes Benz. They're, they're four wheel drives. I probably shouldn't be saying that because we sell plenty of BMWs and we sell plenty of Mercedes-Benz, but we sell more Range Rovers these days. Um, even, even John at the garage, who usually likes uh, high-powered saloons, he's got a taste for Range Rovers now, so they're not automatically mine when they come in, and he's uh, laid claim to this. So... Uh, Obviously, I'll be I'll be setting as many annoying bleeps <laughs> and speed limits and moving the chair as in all the all the positions as much as possible. We've got cruise control on the right hand side again. It's really simple cruise control to use. waiting for the day on my tits in the outside lane. It's a, such a, a relaxed way of driving. You've got a massive front central armrest. You've got these armrests here. Big brakes to 
pull two tons to a stop. If I just go into reverse there, you'll see that, uh, the reversing camera, nobody behind me. And also the, the wing mirrors, or the door mirrors dip when you're reversing so you can see you're not going to curb your alloys but also with the, the depth of the wall I mean just looking at this car in front the camber of the back wheels and the, I couldn't think of anything worse to drive than that So I'm not, I'm not 18 anymore. Right, so we'll click the one click cruise on, and it shows you nice green lights on the dashboard. Some are pretty vague, and I can just increase it. There's nothing coming there, but I'll just, I'll just click up till we get to 70. Oh, I've just gone a bit too far there. 70 miles an hour and we're doing just over 1500 revs so you, you can hardly hear anything it's really windy today we're, we're expecting gale force winds you can hardly hear any tire noise good years are, are doing the job on the on the corners of the car just a beautiful car The, the, the black wheels as well and the, the black side steps, the black bottoms of the doors uh, and then the black roof as well. It's a really, really nice contrast in the black grille. Just slow down and actually I, I, I would like to speed up because it looks like that guy's carrying something on his knee. I could be wrong or, or something going straight through the through the center console right right up here you see all sorts I'm pretty sure they, they've they've put a load of 5g towers around this roundabout and it just causes people to do crazy things all the time You've got the menu here, you scroll through the menu, the driving features, trip computer, instrument display, vehicle setup, and you, you can set things like the um, automatic lock-in when you, when you drive off, um, the two-stage lock-in, whether your wing mirrors, your door mirrors dip when you put it in reverse, and how long your headlights stay on when you get home at night and it's fun where I live it's fantastic because when my car's parked it shines on the door and it stays on you set it to stay on 30 seconds or, or longer if you like and um, it illuminates your path until you get to the door there's one of those uh, electric cars in front and to be honest I, I wouldn't swap you for the world lovely to drive I have driven them lovely to drive very very fast lots of equipment but um, you know the it's it, the technology that powers a diesel car, just igniting the fuel on compression only, no spark or anything, and even a, even a petrol car, everything it takes to get the car going, right from getting the crude oil out of the ground, and you have an electric car, and you put, in a, you put an electric current in it, it reacts with a magnet and drives the car forward. It's, it's somehow it's just not right.
can see here it's a very bad roundabout and you can see right over this stupid dip that the engineers put in just say very fast but this guy is uh, over the white line oh that's why he's over the white line because he's programming his sat nav not looking where he's going he's eating a sandwich programming his sat nav and driving over the wrong side of the road Yep, he's still at it. At least he's know exactly where he was when he killed somebody. Great suspension and steering. Why would you want anything else? And again, fuel economy and so on, and whole life costs. I, I bet if you if you looked at the whole life costs of uh, of a Range Rover, well, you. you you'll never be able to work it out because there's so many that are still on the road, still doing a great job for their owners and they're, they're like 30 years old. <laughs> you, just, you just can't kill them. They're, they're, they're like a Levi shirt. Um, I had a Levi shirt from being 20, the same Levi shirt from being 20 and a pair of original 501s, the proper original 501s that used to be made out of denim that was half inch thick. And I, I had them until I moved house about eight years ago. My, my Levi's had just started to wear through here and there, there was kind of a little rip on the, the legs here but and the, the shirt was just so comfortable. My girlfriend hated them uh, and I so comfortable I, I just loved them and strangely enough when I moved house the only things that got lost in the house move was those jeans and my Levi shirt I, spooky I, I don't know how that happened but, uh, anyway whole life costs of, of Levi's as well it's it's the same thing you pay more for them and they, they last you ten times longer Right, well, anyway, as much as I'd just like to keep driving this, and I could probably talk all day about them, just trying to think what, what I've missed out. Front and rear parking sensors, remote open tailgate, uh, power close, just, just lovely. Oh, we've got here electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well, and all those go with the seats when you set your door mirrors and your steering wheel your seat and you program the memory then next time you get in those things will change so it's it just basically just how you left it I'll uh, when we get back to the garage I'll show you how to pair a mobile how to delete a mobile how to set the sat nav and how to stream audio and to say the uh, the sound system in this is really really good so i'll finish the test drive there um see you in the next video we are going to lock down on thursday in the uk um what, what have i got i've got bmw 335 to video which will be a nice car i've got a mini which I've been trying to get round to do for, for ages. But uh, as I say, we will be carrying on. This time, I'm gonna 
keep videoing cars as and when we get them. Um, there's just me in the car, so it's not like I'm going to uh, come into contact with anybody else. I video the car, I do the editing, the uploading, uh, all that sort of stuff, so I don't see why there would be any reason that I couldn't just keep working. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And you, normally I tell you that you can't buy the car if it's a Range Rover and don't buy it and try to put you off. But you can buy this one, John's using it. <laughs> see you in the next video.